Hello and welcome to another FittingSites.com screencast tutorial. I'm Jerry Bates and today we are going to be customizing the 2010 WordPress theme. This is the theme that's included as a default in all versions of WordPress starting with 3.0. And here we have our business, Sugar Babies Cupcake Boutique. But it doesn't exactly fit with the style of the theme right now, which is quite plain. has a nice pretty image, but not what we're after exactly. However, it's pretty easy to change the header image by clicking on the header option inside of Appearance tab. And we can see right here that we have several options loaded already, which are nice if we were just doing a blog, but since this is a cupcake business, what we would like to do is upload our own image instead. Now, if you upload an image, you can actually crop it inside of WordPress, but since they've given us the exact size that we need, we are going to crop it in an external editor so we can see exactly what we're doing. And I like to use Picnic.com. It's a nice free online service. It does have some premium features, but the free tools that are available are plenty good for us. Here you can see that I already have a header image selected. I'm going to open to upload that. And there's our image. Pretty nice, but definitely doesn't fit the dimensions we need. So we're going to click on Crop. And here you see we have this nice crop box available. And as we drag it around, you can see in the actual size above, it's telling us exactly how big it is in pixels but we don't have to drag it around to get it just right. We can actually just enter our own information at the top, 940 by 198. And there we have our WordPress dimensions for our header image. I'm going to move that around a little bit, and I think that's quite nice. So we're going to click OK to accept that. There are other options available here. There's effects and different filters. Some of them are pretty interesting. Some are premium, but quite a few are free. However, this image looks pretty nice the way that it is, and so we're just going to save it directly. Give it the same name, and yes, we are going to replace the image that we had in there previously. And now we're going to go back to the WordPress dashboard click Choose File to find the image that we want to upload, and then say OK. Let's go ahead and upload that. And there we can see we have our new header image. Looks pretty nice. And if we just click on the Visit Your Site option, we can see it loaded in there. Again, pretty nice, but with this plain gray background, it's still not quite as lively as it could be. And usually when I'm picking a background color, I like to choose a color that's from the header itself. And I kind of like this purple in here, but what I really like, you can barely make it out, a little blue that's happening in the sparkles there. So we are going to modify that. You can click on the background tab inside of the appearance options. And here we have several different choices that are available. We can select a color, which is really interesting. If we wanted to take the time to play around and find a color we like, that one's pretty nice. So we're going to save our changes and take a look at the site. Definitely an improvement. However, one of the nice things about WordPress is that it actually, again, allows you to upload an image. Not just any image, though. What we want to do is we want to upload a seamless background image. It's a small file that WordPress is going to tile for us, just like you might tile an image on your desktop. And it's going to create a nice little effect. And for this, I like to use another free online tool. This is called bgpatterns.com. And you can see here in the back that it actually has the image that we're working on displayed right there in the foreground. Let's click to apply that. And you can see there's several options here. What I really like to do is I like to pick this flower image and I think if we apply that, 
get the spacing a little right. We also have the ability to change our colors, both the foreground and the background images. I'm going to pick a nice light blue color for the pattern and apply that. And I'm going to change the background color. Again, kind of staying in that same blue. We can see our little preview image there. But what I'm going to do is just drag it up a little bit, make it a nice bright blue. We even have the ability to change the texture that we're using. And I kind of like a nice pebbly texture. And there's quite a bit of options in here, so we're going to dial that back just a little bit. I just want a slight texture, nothing too crazy. But you could see that you could uh, really go crazy with these and choose quite a few different options. There we go, we have saved our image to the computer. Now we're going to go back to our WordPress dashboard and we're going to upload this image file. And there's our image that we downloaded. We just need to select it and then click Upload. And we can see a little preview here of our background. Let's take a look at the finished site. And we can see that, yes, having that little bit of pattern in the background does make for a nice effect. Makes it feel quite a bit less plain. And with the header image, you can see that we're well on our way to a custom website. Sugar Baby's Cupcake Boutique is definitely starting to look a lot better for a default WordPress theme. So we're going to stop here for now and in our next tutorial we are going to cover inserting images into our posts and styling our text to make it look quite a bit nicer and more professional. So for now this is Jerry Bates with FittingSites.com. Thank you for watching this screencast and have a great day.